Hi there, this is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about new Microsoft Teams client application for Windows desktops and other operating systems such as Mac OS and web applications etc. We'll talk about more details of Microsoft Teams new application which is released and what are the advantages of that application 50 percentage fewer resources are used in the new version of the teams client and microsoft claims that there would be 50 percentage of reduction in the memory as well as there would be a lot of reduction in the hard disk space as well this is all because of the new components new architecture that new teams client has we'll see all the details in this video we'll have presentation and demo on this topic we'll check out what are the policies you can configure at teams admin center side to control the deployment of new teams version and we will also see how to deploy the preview version of new teams client and we will see what are the future roadmap of teams client it is two times faster simpler and more flexible version of teams microsoft teams product team re-architectured the entire teams client from the ground up with all the components so that is why there's a big buzz in the community it community about the new preview version of microsoft teams client so we will see more details on the features of new teams preview version and then in the demo we will see the policy configurations on the admin center side and the configuration on the client side and then we will upgrade the client to the preview version so a lot of details are coming on your way don't skip it let's go ahead and watch it let's talk about new microsoft teams client microsoft claims that it is two times faster 50 percentage fewer resource used 50 percentage reduced memory usage and lot of disk space saving as well we'll discuss about all these points in this demo and we will discuss about the user experience of the new teams client then we will look into the teams admin center side of things and how to create the policies etc we'll see how to switch the toggle to get the new teams client on windows 11 device what is the exact process we will see let's go to the next slide new microsoft teams desktop app on windows was reimagined from the ground up this is for faster simpler and more flexible experience as per microsoft it consumes 50 percentage fewer resources the new client and it is more simple simpler polished and responsive ux easier to navigate the navigation was a pain with the legacy teams client hopefully this would be giving a better experience for end users and it is more flexible multiple tenants and the accounts can be accessed without logging in again and again that is going to give an excellent user experience now let's go to the next slide now i'm going to play a demo on the left side you can see the classic teams and on the right side you would be able to see the new version of the teams you can see the performance differences and all the other improvements in the new version of the teams
Now let's go to the next slide. In this slide, we will see how easy it is for end users to switch to the new Teams client version. It is just switching the toggle from left to right to get the new client and the users can switch between new client and legacy version of classic teams application we'll see this in the demo with more details let's go to the next slide features available with the new client just remember that this is a preview version and i'm sure before the general availability of the new client all the features which are there in the legacy version of the client will be available for the new client the basic features are already available activity feeds chats regular calls teams to teams call meetings support multiple work accounts tenants all those things are already available in the new version of teams let's go to the next slide and find out what is coming soon what are the features microsoft product team is working on at the moment the mac version of new teams client application is coming soon same for vdi and edu along with web platforms all these are coming soon with the new teams client version this would be available for special clouds pretty soon advanced calling features are going to be available in the new teams client pretty soon advanced meeting features such as breakout rooms 7 into 7 videos these would be also available pretty soon teams channel creation cross posting channel announcements these would be also available search is one of the very useful features and this would be available pretty soon in the new client let's go to the next slide as I mentioned before, Microsoft claims that this is 2x faster the new Teams client version. Why? It is using React plus client data layer as per Microsoft instead of Angular JS. It gives 2x faster experience, smaller footprint, greater support for shareable components, improved responsiveness. And Microsoft Teams client moved away from HTML and CSS. Now it is using Fluent UI and it gives more advantages as mentioned over here. And Teams moved away from Electron for hosting. Now it is using WebView 2 in the new Teams client and it helped Microsoft to reduce 50% resource consumption, 50% less memory and 70% less hard disk space. That is pretty significant. Now let's go to the next slide. In this slide we will see what are the options that admin team has to control the rollout of new Teams client and what are the kinds of policies which they need to enforce to have a face wise rollout we'll see update management policies in the coming slides now let's go to the next slide this is a quick overview of the policy which you need to create for allowing public preview version of new teams client we have explained this in the demo in detail now let's go to the next slide multi-tenant multi-account this is very useful and this was one of the main pain point for many teams users switching between the tenants switching between the accounts you need to always log in and you miss all the notification etc etc Otherwise, you will be flooded with email notifications. So with the new Teams client, it is pretty easy to switch and quickly check the notification and take some actions directly from this drop down option. This is very, very useful. Well, let's go to the next slide. This is how end user experiences. We will see more details in the demo. As a first step, you need to toggle the switch and then click on this button over here and 
on the third step you are already with the new version of teams client sometimes the client will automatically download the latest version of the client we'll see all those things in the demo let's go to the next slide this is again switching between the tenants you can set the status pretty easily for each account each tenant even for personal account school account or work account let's check out the demo now to get more details about all these points let's check how to create teams update preview policy teams update allow public preview policy so that is why i'm here in teams admin center and over there if you expand teams you would be able to see teams update policies if you go inside the teams update policy you can see a global policy that is a default one for all the users and from here you would be able to add a new custom policy i'm going to create a custom policy for allowing public preview of teams updates click on add and over here need to provide a name i'm going to enter the name over here teams client allow public preview okay i have added the description also over here and then you can see different options over here i love public preview let's click on this drop down over here for allow public preview and select the option called enabled then on the second option use new teams client keep it as microsoft controlled and then once you are fine with these two settings you can click on apply button to confirm the changes and to create the policy let's click on apply button now and let it create the policy the policy got created as you can see over here on the top and over here also you would be able to see the new policy and it says it's a custom policy for teams update and assigned users will have a view users option let's click on view users now this is the list of users you can select the users from here now i have selected three users from here one by clicking on this now i'm going to click on edit settings okay to change the policy and that will give me this screen from here i would be able to select the policies which i want to apply for this users so this is very granular control so i'm going to search for teams update this is the update policy from where we have created a custom policy so i'm going to go to this drop down and select teams client allow public preview for these three users and then click on apply button to continue and it says okay do you want to confirm whether this is fine or not yes confirm it now oh, you can see the policy is changed and policy is applied you can confirm this by clicking on one of the users view policy hyperlink if you click on that you would be able to see teams update policy is changed to allow public preview and this is a direct policy assigned to this particular user okay so if i expand again if i go over here teams update policy this is the policy which we have created let's quickly check what is the policy setting for global policy follow the office preview that is the policy which we said default policy and it is microsoft controlled and we have changed that and now you can see the users assigned to this particular policy from here if you want to add additional users what you need to do is you can search for that user and select the user and follow the same method and change the update policy from here keep the existing policy change it to teams client allow public preview policy let's go back over here update policy and check again what are the controls these are the controls we have enabled now go to three dots over here from the client then go to about and from the about you need to click on public preview option over here you need to select that okay about public preview and then click on switch to public preview option like this click on this button 
and that will restart the teams client now you would be able to see a new option somewhere here see this is the switch you can see and you can enable this preview new teams faster and lighter multiple account and organization updated look and feel and you can see the full list from here if you want you would be able to see full list that will redirect to microsoft teams page over here and you would be able to see the details over here and then if you click on get it now button that will enable the newer version of the team and that is the preview version as you can see over here i'm going to click on that now it seems new teams is downloading and will automatically open when finished and you have a option to cancel the download as well if you want okay that is done now the new teams is getting enabled new teams is getting launched and it is asking me to sign in again the preview version as you can see this is the preview version over here let's click on sign in i need to enter the username and password again this is the new username and password window i have not seen this design before let's click on sign in enter the username click on next now it will ask for the password enter the password click on sign in whenever you get this prompt i normally avoid this one and check this and click on this button no sign in to this app only and check click on no sign in to this app only now the preview version of the team is getting loaded and it is asking for the permission to access the camera as well so that's good i'm going to give the permission to access the camera by clicking on yes button and even for microphone yes and you can see windows recently set to don't disturb you might be missing some notification so it is set to do not disturb so you can see a preview icon over here preview version icon and new teams is enabled and all the new teams features will be available for me now without any windows restart i didn't restart the windows operating system i just restarted the teams desktop application on my windows 11 device now that you have seen all the details in the video you might have got a fair bit of a fair bit of idea about new preview version of teams what are the advantages how faster it is how to get into the preview version of microsoft teams what are the configuration or policy configuration you need to set up in teams admin center how do you assign the policies to a particular small set of users because it is not recommended to deploy the preview version to all the users in your organization hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around